as we bring you results, probably also checking your social media platforms. They will be contending with all of the election uncertainty as well, dealing with information, but also misinformation, outright fabrications, other online attempts to cast doubt on the vote. And that's Thomas Degg's job to follow that angle of election day. He's with us live. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Heather. So social media companies, we were talking just yesterday, we've been talking with you a couple of times this week, in fact. What are they going to be watching for in their feeds this morning uh, and today, in fact, and what are they going to be doing about it? Well, cast your mind back to U.S. Election Day 2016, Heather, and there are a couple things going on today or being watched for that perhaps wouldn't have been part of the conversation four years ago that perhaps wouldn't have been taken as a priority. First of all, uh, watching the sitting president's Twitter feed for any attempt to undermine the electoral process. Now, to be fair, uh, this is being done. Social media companies are watching uh, the, uh, the, 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 the feeds of any uh, candidate or any influential user to, to watch for this sort of uh, mischief, but uh, few of them have a, as big a reach and a, as big a tendency to undermine uh, mail-in voting in particular as, as Donald Trump does. So here's a, a couple of things that happened last night. Facebook labeling a post from uh, Donald Trump uh, about uh, mail-in voting, about uh, a court decision in Pennsylvania in a swing state. Uh, Facebook saying mail-in voting is trustworthy, uh, Twitter taking it a step further, calling it misleading and restricting users' ability to share that tweet. So we'll be watching for uh, this sort of action on social media uh, from those, uh, those social media giants today. The other thing I should mention uh, that uh, the companies are going to be watching for and are prepared for that perhaps they wouldn't have thought of so much four years ago was uh, the ability of foreign adversaries to meddle in this election by using these social media platforms to spread misinformation or even just photographs or videos without proper context, either uh, pointing to violence in the streets or uh, trouble at the polling stations. Because keep in mind, it's not just those actions that can undermine a vote. It is also the perception that there is something wrong at uh, the uh, voting uh, stations at the, at the, at the, in the streets. And uh, foreign adversaries are uh, apparently uh, working on that, and, and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube uh, on, on the lookout as well, Heather. And after the polls, what do we watch for then, Thomas? Well, as you heard, Heather, uh, as you heard Ellen talk about just a moment ago, this uh, possibility that Donald Trump or other candidates would claim victory before all those mail in ballots are counted. That is uh, one of the things that the social media companies are watching for, and they are taking steps to guard against. They are directing U.S. users to credible uh, voting information sources, such as the Associated Press and, and U.S. Uh, television networks. Um, again, this is the kind of thing that we would not have been talking about four years ago because there was an expectation that there would be a result on election night. Indeed, there was, Heather. Thomas, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll look forward to checking in with you once we see how the day unfolds.